Do not be fooled by the sweetness on those puppy faces. There's only one thing on the minds of these canine superstars. That is perhaps the greatest title in all sports. Lakefront TV's Puppy Bowl 1. Hello everyone, I'm Jack Russell and welcome to the Puppies Bowl 1 pregame show where we're going to bring you all the stories and all the pregame action as we break down a matchup that is sure to be one for the ages. We have a lot to cover today, so let's get right into it. Joining me in the studio are two canine sports analysts who are very familiar with the strengths and weaknesses of these fuzzy wuzzy four-legged footballers. Say hello to Karen Terrier and Rot Weiler. Pleasure to be here, Jack. Happy to be here, J-Dog. Before we get into the nitty gritty and who you think is going to win this game, let's bring the viewers up to speed. The Puppies Bowl 1 is coming from the Matthias Stadium that's sporting a brand new digital scoreboard sponsored by the fine folks from the Animal Medical Center of Eustis, Florida. Plus, we're very excited to report that viewers will get a bird's eye view of the game action with an overhead hamster motorized blimp cam. These two teams playing today are the Barking Broncos and the Pouncing Panthers. We're going to get to see who wants to take home the Lake Barkley Trophy. It's a dog-eat-dog -dog kind of world out there, and I am so excited to see these two teams of pups go at it. You know, I completely agree. I've watched hundreds of hours of tape of these canine athletes working out and training at the Animal League. I am so excited to see who will be crowned MVP. You know what? Let's jump right into your picks, right? Oh, pause down. I'm going to go with the Barking Broncos all the way. Even though I like some of the things that the Pouncing Panthers are doing right now, I just think the quality of the Retriever Corps of the Barking Broncos is going to be way too much for the Pouncing Panthers to keep up with. Way too much speed, too much agility, and way too much bow wow wow. Bow wow wow? Seriously? Yes, bow wow wow. I just really? love disagreeing with you, honestly. I know you do. <laughs> You know, but I am choosing the Pouncing Panthers. We all know I'm a huge lover of working dogs. They're big, they're strong, they're powerful. Plus, they have a tremendous amount of guarding and protection instinct. On the starting lineup, the Panthers have the dynamic Husky duo, wide receiver Siki and defensive tackle Sara. They may not have as much high octane as your Bronco Pups, but my money is definitely on the Panthers, all the way. Have you seen the Barking Broncos mascot? It's a purebred Arabian horse. Spoken like a true Rottweiler. Thank you. So, it seems like we have quite a difference of opinions here on the set. You now know what these two folks think, but we'd like to know who you're rooting for. Let us know who you think will win the Puppies Bowl 1 by using hashtag Puppies Bowl 1, hashtag Barking Broncos, or hashtag Pouncing Panthers. Hi, I'm Doreen Barker, Executive Director of the Animal League, and this is Ollie. And I'm Jessica Whitehouse. I'm the Director of Development for the Animal League, and this is Opie. These two little puppies are from a litter of four. The Animal League relies solely on the generosity of our community. We do not receive any government funding. We um, rely strictly on donations that come in through our public and uh, grants and our special events that we held uh, to raise revenue for our organization. Our website is slal.org. Our adoption center is out in Groveland, Florida, and we are open every day except for Wednesday and Thursday. Spay, neuter, and adopt. Don't shop. Together we can make a difference. Welcome back to Lakefront TV's Puppy Bowl 1 pregame show. I'm your host, Jack Russell. We're sitting down with two of our most gifted sports analysts, Karen Terrier and Rottweiler, to continue our discussion and break down each high-flying, ear-flapping, and nap-taking squad. Guys, what makes a great team? Well, Jack, I believe that the team, the makeup of a team, can be the difference between success and failure before the first whistles are even blown. Team Barking Broncos and Pouncing Panthers have a lot of similarities. They're all rescue pups from the Animal League and are looking for their forever homes. It's kind of difficult to believe that these pups weren't even born three months ago. Unbelievable. Let's take a look at the lineups. We're going to start with the Barking Broncos. And for the Barking Broncos, a four-month-old Dotson Blend Vancouver is playing quarterback for the Barking Broncos. The right guard is Orlon. He's a 10-week-old Chihuahua Blend. The cornerback, Graham Cracker, is a nine-week-old Chahula Mastiff Blend. 
his brother Gelato is playing safety. Running back Indy is a 10-week-old Dotson Blend. 10-week-old Dotson Blend Izzy is the Barking Broncos wide receiver. And here's the lineup for the Pouncing Panthers. Starting for the Pouncing Panthers, 10-week-old Husky Blend Zeke is playing quarterback for the Pouncing Panthers. His sister Zara is right tackle. The center Gummy Bear is a 9-week-old Catahoula Mastiff Blend. The Pouncing Panthers linebacker Granola is a nine-week Catahoula Mastiff blend. The running back Olinda is a 10-week-old Chihuahua blend. 10-week-old Dotson blend Igno is the Pouncing Panthers wide receiver. Well, thank you guys very much for joining me. It seems like we're about to have the kickoff, so we're going to take it down to the field. It's game time on the field with referee Jeff Bankson, and by his side is our 2016 referee, Brewster. And now entering the field is Vancouver, the quarterback for the Barking Broncos. Barking Broncos Indies making the first move with Ruff's whistle towards the goal line. Izzy from the Barking Broncos is playing defense with Pouncing Panthers Ingot. There's a tug of war game going on between the Panthers dynamic Husky duo Zeke and Zara. Come on guys, you're on the same team. Whoa, nice block of the ball from Barking Broncos Vancouver. Looks like some rough play going on with Zeke from the Pouncing Panthers. Touchdown by the Barking Broncos. We have our first touchdown of the 2016 Puppies Bowl. Barking Broncos running back Indy has made the first touchdown. Looks like somebody's not happy with the first touchdown. Whoa, look at that tango tackle. Hmm, looks like Pouncing Panther Zara is a turncoat. It's the end of the first quarter. We are at the start of the second quarter of the 2016 Puppies Bowl. It's a beautiful day here at Matthias Stadium. Our hamster motorized blimp is getting us some great views of the field. The pups are back on the field. Looks like Ref is already reprimanding Pouncing Panther Zeke for eating the field. Zeke's attention is now on the ball. Touchdown! The Pouncing Panthers have their first touchdown. The score is now 7-7. Quarterback Zeke is so happy he's chewing the goal line. Barking Broncos are huddling to figure out their next play. Wait a second. Down near the 30 yard line, Zeke is attacking his teammate Granola. Referee Brewster has called a bowl break. We are halfway through the Puppies Bowl 2016, and we have a tie. Welcome back from our first half. I'm back in the studio with Rottweiler and Karen Terrier. Yes. How do you think that went? Hold on. I would like to take a second to throw it in your face that how are the Pouncing Panthers doing? Hmm? Well, how about Zeke and how about Sarah? All right. Huh? I got to admit, Zeke's been all over the field. I never expected this to happen today like this. He's, he's been a nuisance. He truly was a bully, and he was getting a lot of unnecessary roughness, wasn't he? Zeke's been all over the field, terrorizing the entire stadium. He's chewing up the grass. He's after everybody. He's even tackling his own teammates. I couldn't have predicted this today. So um, all I can say is the second half, maybe we're going to come back. I don't know. No, I don't think so. Thank you for that halftime update, guys. We're going to head back down to the field where we've been overtaken by cats. It's a feline frenzy out there.
Hi, I'm Jessica and I'm with the Animal League. This here is Mozzarella. Mozzarella is a 10 month old domestic short hair kitten. Um, he's a total love bug and loves to snuggle with everybody. He's up for adoption and he's still looking for his forever home. At the Animal League, we have 90 puppies. We have 50 adult animals. And at any given time, we usually have about 40 cats or kittens. And we hope you come out and visit us. Spay, neuter, and adopt. Don't shop. Together, we can make a difference. Welcome back to the 2016 Puppies Bowl. We are at the start of the third quarter and Pouncing Panthers quarterback Zeke just tackled Barking Broncos quarterback Vancouver. Touchdown for the Barking Broncos. The crowd is going crazy. Zeke has the flag and now there's a tug of war going on between the Pouncing Panthers. At the end of the third quarter, the score is 14 Barking Broncos and 7 for the Pouncing Panthers. We are at the top of the final quarter in our first annual Puppies Bowl. Barking Broncos Indy has the ball. Pouncing Panther Zeke has taken control of the ball. Touchdown for the Pouncing Panthers. We are now tied 14-14. Broncos are huddling, planning their next play. Is that a kiss? Whoa! Pouncing Panther Zeke body slammed Barking Broncos quarterback Vancouver. Zeke is a beast. He's even terrorizing his fellow teammates. Looks like the ref has called for unnecessary roughness. Pouncing Panthers other dynamic husky Zara has taken control of the ball. Touchdown! The winner of the 2016 Puppies Bowl are the Pouncing Panthers. Way to go, Panthers! Woo! The 2016 Puppies Bowl champions are the Pouncing Panthers. Welcome back to Sports Center. Here we are. I mean, what a game. I guess you were right. I have to admit that the uh, maybe the Barking Broncos uh, bark was worse than their bite. It truly was. Mm. What can I tell you? Zeke was a beast. What if I want an autograph or I even want to take a photo with them? What do I do now that the game is over? Well, now that they've gone pro, they're looking for their forever homes. All you have to do is go to slal.org or visit their shelter in Groveland, Florida, and you can be up close and personal with the athletes themselves. Guys, thanks again. I hope we have you back next year. Thank you for having us, Jack. Yes, thank you, J-Dog. My pleasure. I hope we can have you back next year. Well. That brings us to the close of Puppies Bowl 1 here at Lakefront TV. Remember, spay, neuter, and adopt. Together, Together we, we can, can make, make a, a difference. difference.